AOP. I won't tell them if you don't tell them. Promise? You keep my secret? Okay, just making sure you're not going to tell anybody. No, don't go back on it. You promised. No, don't tell it. Shh, I'm, I'm, you're done. Hello there. How are you awesome, magnificent, beautiful people on this cloudy morning? Yeah, it's morning. Yeah, it, it's definitely morning. We did not take a 12-hour break. No matter what Opie tells you, we did not take a 12-hour break. We may have taken a 12-hour break. Yes, we took a 12-hour break. But I was having a discussion with him as we were going over my wardrobe that we were going to wear today. And as usual, it's a black shirt day. It's either going to be a black shirt day or a dark blue shirt day. I don't have any other colors. I really need to expand my wardrobe. Bet you didn't think you'd hear about wardrobe when you went to a trucking channel did you yeah on this one you are and you forgot to tell me to put my hat on they're gonna see me with my messy hair i tell you what dog yes i know i know they're just gonna have to put up with me yes you're just gonna have to put up with me yeah I forgot to shave before I left town. All right, enough of that jibber jabber. Guys, if you've been following along, we are down in Indianapolis, Indiana right now. We are loaded up with, I don't know, it's some kind of, some kind of blend, blend that they put into animal feed, like horse feed, I think, cow feed. It's, it's really heavy, but it's going back to Sioux City, Iowa. And they did something to me that I've never been done to before. I've been bolted. I have never, in all the years doing this, had a bolt on the back of my trailer. Isn't that something? I've never had a bolt. That's a long time. That's a long time without a bolt. Well, anyway, enough talking about bolts, enough talking about hair, and enough talking about my wardrobe. I'm gonna go ahead and say we need to get to trucking because we need to get back to Sioux City, Iowa because, well, guess what? We have more work to do. Yeah, we're gonna be cutting her close this year for uh, Christmas Eve, but we're gonna get her done. Are you ready to go? Should I show them your seat since you were narking me out about 12 hours? Make it her come through on camera? Look at that seat. Look at that seat. That seat is nastiness. It was raining last night here. It's been kind of damp ever since, well, I think it was October when the dampness started. October or November. You're worth it, big boy. You're worth it. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get trucking. We'll be back with you in a little bit.
we're here at Lovely Loves. We're going to top these tanks off while we're here. But uh, I think it's a really good time to fulfill, full, full, fill one of my subscribers' requests. His request was to uh, see the inside of an American truck stop. Now, I've given him a few things, you know, glimpses. We've done a little bit in, in a truck stop. This one's not that busy, so we're just going to go ahead, take the camera, walk around it a little bit, take a little tour, then come back out and get back on the road. That sound all right to you guys? I'm glad to hear it. Let's go do it. How are you? Yeah, how are you? I'm doing all righty. Yeah. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. All right.
Well, they didn't do too bad, did they? And holy Batman, that wind is blowing. It's really blowing. Opie, I'd like to stay on this side of this way station building, all right? Right now, we are just about to jump into Iowa. You remember that way station I was telling you guys we were at last night? It's right there. It's across the way. Ooh, everything's going good tonight. Um, okay, so I answered, well, I didn't answer. I gave you a little tour of an American truck stop there. That was a lovely loves that I always go in and out of. And a guy from, I even looked it up. Well, you're either from UK or Australia, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so right now I'm going to tell you another question. I'm going to answer another question that I get. And I've gotten it a few times and some questions I just can't answer in comments because it'd be like writing a book. But instead of me answering it, I'm going to let yesterday's me answer it. Yeah, that's right. I got done editing yesterday's video and it was a solid... It was just too long, so I had to cut some things out. But there was a question I answered in it that I really wanted you guys to get. So, as we're standing right over there, I'm going to let yesterday's uh, me answer the question. You hear me over there? Okay, answer this question for him, okay? Alright, you guys go talk to him. The question is, Schmidt, if you're such a family man, and you miss him so much when you're gone, why don't you run local? I used to run local. I used to run local a lot. Here's the problem. I don't know what the rules and stipulations are for, uh... Nah, never mind, it didn't show up on camera. That's just an awesome picture with all four lights going. But I don't know what the rules and stipulations are on running local. I think it's the same, at least I always assumed it was the same back when I was running local. That's a 14 hour day in a truck. Come on, no, keep going. A 14 hour day in the truck, so let's factor in. You go down to your truck. No, we're not getting in yet, come on, walk this way. You get down to your truck, you get it all ready to go. So when I was running local, I pulled one trailer and one trailer only. Then you go to work. Then you come home. Looking at about a 15 hour day. If not 16 hours, just for a simple fact, if you went down into this winter and you went down to start your truck to get it ready. At the end of that 16 hours, what do you have time to do at home? You have time to go home and go to bed. Wake up, do it all over again. So when I was running local, yeah, I was in my bed every night. That's it. I was in my bed every night, and I was a heck of a lot more busier. Man, I tell you what, I loved what I was doing. I truly do. And I think I'd go back and do it in a heartbeat. So I was running distilled grains from Iowa into Nebraska, and I loved doing it. If you wanted some time off, if you didn't feel like working, you had to find somebody to run that stuff for the cows didn't eat. So I wasn't able just to jump around, you know, like right now, well, you guys have seen it. You guys have been following me along and along, along enough that if something comes up at home, I have no troubles just, just parking the truck, just going home and saying, okay, we're done for the week or okay, we're going to take a long weekend this week or we're going to do this different this week. I do that and it's, it's no skin off anybody's back. I mean, do people depend on me? Yeah, to a point, but there's so many other trucks out here. Um, there's so many different operations running. And, the, you know, the, the guy who owns this trailer that I pull, you know, he's got 26 owner operators, I think, the last time I counted. I, I can't remember. <laughs> and he's got probably 13, 14 company drivers. So, no, really, there's, there's no one who really depends on me other than those people at home. They depend on me. And I'm able to make them more of my priority right now. I'm able to make them, you know, when I'm home, I'm home. Boy, that was a long-winded answer of why I don't run local. What I should have just simply said is, I don't run local because I'm home more when I'm over the road. 
that's the fact right there. I'm home more. Because I don't sleep in my own bed every night, but you guys know I'm only out four nights a week. Yeah, yeah I can be out more than four nights. Four, you know, the blah, 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 blah. I can be out two weeks at a time, but very rare. Very, very rare. It's four nights, maybe five nights. Six nights is pushing it. And it works out really good. So that's why I don't run local. I love my family. I miss my family when I'm gone. But it still works out with my family schedule and me to run it this way. Plus, there's no guarantees I'd still be married if I was running local. I love you, Warden, but I know how much you don't like me when I'm home too long. Oh, good God. I actually put the camera down and was going to go back to the truck and think, oh, I got to wait till he answers them. Oh, Schmidt, you've lost your mind. Oh, I'm kind of chilly. We've been walking around here for a while. Well, we have 355 miles left in our day. Um, we should pull into town probably around five o'clock in the morning. Yes, I know my days and nights are mixed up. Well, my own fault. Like yesterday's video, I said, I, I just, I have troubles leaving. But I do have a surprise, and I'm not going to talk about it a whole lot, but I do have a surprise coming on tomorrow's video. I think you guys might like it. I, this is going to be a teaser. This is going to be what they call a YouTube teaser. You guys really must subscribe to the channel and really must like the videos because I'm going to throw a teaser at you. Do what you want to do. Just know that tomorrow's video is going to be kind of cool. I'll be back with you here in a little bit. What do you say yeah well we changed the plans which I can do because I'm a man you no know, we changed the plans because realistically guys this load does not need to be in Sioux City Iowa by any time certain and uh, our next load is not going to be ready until the way it sounds by tomorrow afternoon so there is no reason to bust our hump to get home so right now we are in Waterloo, Iowa, and this is where we're going to camp out for the night. It's a it's a solid uh, 1 a.m. and it's just it's it's time to park. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to go to sleep to get on uh, maybe a decent schedule tomorrow. Take a 10 hour break instead of the 12 hour break we took last night. Look at his eyes. He's like, holy crap, Dad, you told him you took a 12-hour break? I thought we were keeping that a secret. Guys, I really enjoy talking to you. Um, you do. You, you really make my day go a lot better than what it could go or what it used to go like. 
and uh, I thank you for that. I truly do. All right, guys. You guys keep yourself safe, and as always, I'll see you next time. Is there something you wanted to say? I just wanted to say thank you. You keep Daddy from 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 bothering me too much. So there's a, there's a too much to bother you? No, not really. Rub my belly now. Oh, Daddy, that feels good. Thank you so much for rubbing my belly.